Welcome to the game that should have been playable online, Street Fighter Alpha 2. I could talk about a lot of the gameplay elements, but the roster, the roster says everything. Nearly doubled from Alpha 1, and everybody in the second column, playable in Alpha for the first time. Especially this brand new character, Sakura. A character so important to Street Fighter at this point, it feels criminal not to do this run as her. This game, wow. I haven't played this game in a while. Feels just as good to do stuff as ever. Even though there are some elements of it I know I'm not using. So, in any case, here's the thing about Sakura's gameplay. Despite having a fireball, despite having a dragon punch, despite having a hurricane kick, there are some unique quirks about her. You can charge the fireballs, so the dragon punch is not necessarily an anti-air, but a good combo ender. And the hurricane kick has a bit of an arc to it. There's a reason these moves may seem amateur, if you will, and that's because it's the core of Sakura's character. She watched a, she watched a specific character do them during a Street Fighter tournament, and I was like, yeah, me too. I want to do that cool thing. Ah, too far away. And here's the birdie from Street Fighter 1 that we didn't even get to talk about in our Alpha 1 run. Fighting in a bathroom. 
a very much transformed character that now grabs you with a chain wrapped around his arms. Wait a minute. Oh, hi! Sagat, hi! Round one, fight! <laughs> Secret character Sagat fight. If you're good enough to achieve it, they'll throw it at you. Otherwise, the arcade run will go as normal. And Sagat makes you pay for it. Sagat does his normal Sagat thing of making you earn it. That I can beat him in a fireball war. Shame on me. But anyway, where were we? Dalsim stage. That woman in the background cheering him on, that's his wife. I'm also not blocking properly, so... Nothing else to say. Welcome to the final fight smorgasbord, a cameo of characters that would end up in future Street Fighter games. We have Andore, Cody, Abigail, Poison on the right side of the stage that we're not going to. This guy's gonna bully me. It's just a sheer collage of characters. And that's one of the things I like about Alpha 2. Just the love in details.
And we have Zangief's weird fucking steel mill stage. Okay, Zangief. <laughs> Defensive Zangief. Awfully defensive Zangief. Ah, fuck your alpha counter. And now it's time for the game to make me pay for that. Like so. Oh no, how dare you do a combo. Oh god, I can't even. Fan of those alpha counters. Yeah. 
I don't like the way you're building meter. I don't like that. I don't like that you have a level 3 ready to go. Now for the actual trial. Because we fight Ryu as our final fight. The man that inspired Sakura to take up street fighting. Unintentionally, mind you. And his AI is out to get you. Hopefully we won't be here too long, oh, fingers crossed. Oh, yeah, never mind. I hope for something to happen and the opposite did. He's fucking ready. Do I even need to say anything? Like, you thought you were done with the mind reading in Street Fighter games? Fuck out of here. We just had a pro player take over. We're gonna be here a bit. Blocked, of course he did. That's what I get. That's what I get for assuming things are punishable when they're not. That's what I get for assuming characters will stay on the ground when they don't. Killed by an alpha counter is the worst feeling. There's nothing like a technique that uses your own offense against you. Hi there! 
You're gonna attack out of a dizzy throw. Sounds good. Uh oh. Time for the I win mode to take over. I don't know, guys. I think we're getting gate kept again. I feel like a simple arcade mode run is just too much to ask for Street Fighter. I am getting away with murder there. Alpha 2, done. Schoolgirl games. I do like the music that plays here, the little chipper Ryu theme that plays. Never mind that shit. We're off to rival schools. They need a cameo to sell their game. <laughs> <laughs> 